believing and knowing that you can be your true self with the other person. If you are hiding your true self behind a mask, mm -hmm. then that is not a healthy relationship. That is not a person for you. It's not a friendship for you. If you're afraid to be who you truly are or ashamed to be who you truly are, mm -hmm. that's not a good, that's not a healthy relationship at all. Right. You have to be able to take your mask off. You have to be able to be yourself and know that it's safe enough. And what you have talked about throughout this entire episode, the way you describe that abusive person, that is not a person that you would feel safe with. Mm -hmm. And so therefore someone who is abusive in the way that you described or toxic is not someone who's earning your trust to be vulnerable with them. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I think just to add to what you're saying about being yourself in a healthy relationship, you can be yourself. That also includes like expressing your own needs and disappointments and desires. I think sometimes you think well, it's not that important. I'll just keep it to myself. But when you can get to a place where you can be a bit needy at times, be wrong at times, be messy at times, that's when it's healthy, when a partner still loves you through those moments and you work through things together. And when you're used to people pleasing, the idea of complaining about something, you'd rather just run or lock it up because will anyone like me if I'm a complainer, right? So you have to learn to like let that side of you out as well. 